Hello everybody. So I got a hold of some geologic maps here. And this is Mauritania, Africa. Just quickly noting here the top, all of the red and pink colors down to the purples, those are all billion year old rocks. All the sediment, all the layers that was above that is, is either was deposited and scraped off or it was never there. And here the eye of the Sahara is in the middle there, which is an anticline dome, one of the best examples in the world, if not the only example. There are others that have rings, but not like this. So there's the map. Uh, when they had the flood back whenever 11,500 years or so ago, uh, if you can see this cursor, the floodwaters came into about this point through here. Okay, up to that point. Uh, you'll find shells everywhere, all over this whole area. Nothing but shells. And I have a quick picture of that. And here's a picture of the shells, and these are everywhere. Uh, this pretty much proves that the sea level did rise and it rose long enough that these shells were able to live there for quite a while apparently before the water receded you will not find these shells anywhere near the Rickart structure which is here all of these rings are sandstone The, the middle, all the way up to the middle is sandstone, and then in the middle we have, there was a lot of hydrothermal activity going on, so there's a lot of, there's a different type of, of rock in there, and we have a few smaller thin beds around here, which we'll see in the geologic map really quick. Just a couple pictures here, this one shows the blue layer that I, that you will find in the area. This is what makes the eye look blue is the debris that is eroding from this layer up here. This is on the plateau. This is all sandstone. Another beautiful shot from the air. All the darker area. All through here is sandstone. And if you go way up to the top over here, this is the uh, Cambrian rocks up here. This is all a billion years old down here. A lot of this is just covered by sand. This totally stunning view shows the land all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. And like I said, this part right up here on the map is the older, super old rock that's been exposed. This sandstone here goes over here it's ob obviously probably underneath all of this sand down here to the bottom lower another absolutely stunning picture this one really shows the ancient rock in the area. If you look up to the upper right here, there isn't even any sand on that rock. This has literally just been scrounged, uh, uh, scrubbed down to the, you know, the, the basic uh, basement rock here, which is a billion years old. This whole area down through here. Uh, the sandstone that surrounds the structure is, is actually only half a billion years old. So this is actually new this is the newest that you'll find, other than the quaternary deposits, which would be the sand and anything that got washed down from the mountains, uh, or at least the plateaus. And here's the legend. We'll be referring to that a little bit, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. You, if you want to see it in detail, you can always download it. I will put the links below. But I do want to bring a couple things to your attention here real quick. Like over here, we have the quaternary deposits up here, and then the Cenozoic. And we got Mesozoic, Paleozoic here on the left. This is a time scale, very conveniently uh, placed over here on the left. We are in the Adrar 
province, which is right here, this column. So everything in this column you will find in the ADRAR province, which if we look here, they give you some handy little region maps here. So the ADRAR, ADRAR uh, province is down here. The eye of the Sahara is right about here. And then we get some, uh, this shows your major uh, orogenies and so on here. And they've got this all sectioned off. And you can follow this right across the top here. It's very easy to manipulate. And then we have a rather fantastic legend over here. This shows all of the different rocks. Volcanic. We will only see some of these. So when we zoom in on this, the OJ here, which is the brownish colored layer here that surrounds this uh, structure is, now I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of those words, but it's predominantly pink and red quartzo sandstone, which is extremely hard. That's why it's still there at equal to or less than 524 million years. Also feldspathic sandstone, microconglomerate, micaceous siltstone and mudstone, Cambrian to Ordovician. So going from the outside towards the center, the next uh, uh, layer is NO, the blue area here just appears only on this side. That is more sandstone. This is red fine grain sandstone less than or equal to 600 a million years and siltstone minor dolostone Cambrian. Working towards the center from there we just have alluvial deposits right here from the quaternary. The next one is NO. We've done that. And we have more quaternary deposit. We also have the yellow here. Those are alluvial. This is basically stream beds. Comes up through the mountains here on the left, down and around and over the sand. Now the next one in would be the AH. This is actually a series of sandstones right through here, getting older and older as you get towards the center. But there are some newer deposits up to Jurassic in here. And there's some very thin uh, beds in here, but we'll go to the AH now and see what that is. So here's the description. AH, sandstones, medium to fine grain, siltstone, and argillite from the Neoproterozoic. We also have AHB, coarse grain, cross bedded sandstone, gluconitic sandstone with hummocky cross stratification. Neoprotozoic less than or equal to 975 million. So we're almost a billion years old and we're not we're just getting to the center. Next would be AHT. Fine grain, ferrogenous, gluconic, sandstone, siltstone, laminated dolostone from Neoproterozoic. And finally we have AHZ, medium to coarse grain, cross bedded and ripple laminated sandstone. So in the center we have one called AT2. Now that is the hydrothermically, or hydro, uh, thermally active area it's not active now but it, it was you know millions of years ago it's pretty much dead now but let's see what we have for AT2 so for AT2 we have would be the blue one with the white dots dolostone and dolomitic limestone including stromatolytic 
and microcrystalline, macrocrystalline, ferruginous, and carbonate conglomerate facies, minor sandstone, shale, and glauconitic shale from the Mesoproterozoic. Off to the left here we have a zoom in on your quaternary uh, legend here. This is the C-A-N. We're going to go there in, in a minute. Really only says that it's just anasomite from the tertiary. Anasomite, I should say. Doesn't really look like the pattern in the uh, in, on the map. This looks like a, a matrix here. The map has yellow dots on it, so I'm assuming that's the same though. And here we can see where the CAN deposit was, and that is this yellow part with the green dots right in the middle. Now we have a little sliver here of MD over here, MD, just a sliver of it. It's it's a thin layer, but we find that it's gabbro, diorite, dolerite, and microgabbro from the Jurassic, which is actually newer. And in the area, but not here, is granophyric hornblende microgranite, Jurassic, uh, only 200 million years old, which is kind of interesting because it's supposed to be getting older as it goes towards the center. So obviously we had some kind of intrusions came up, you know, pushed its way up through here and we don't have a lot of volcanism here just a little bit the previous video you can see that this is an anticline dome which is pushed up way from below so uh, there were cracks and, and some of the uh, magma did reach the surface in small places so that's all there is to it really it's quite simple um, once you get the geologic map out and start looking around, it all starts to make sense. So thanks for stopping by, and I hope this clears up any confusion I may have caused earlier, but I wanted to get in the, on the earlier video more into the history, where Africa's been, and I really did want to uh, finally bury this whole idea that this could be even be... Atlantis, which is, you know, according to Plato, which everybody's banking on here, uh, it was an island in the Atlantic Ocean. You can't just come in, raise the water level, and then make this an island and say, oh, well, that was Atlantis, because obviously it wasn't there before the, well, water uh, this came up, you know, the sea level rise. So anyway, you guys have a great day, and I'll uh, see you on the next video, which is going to be on the uh, plasma strikes from the sun that I think caused the flood. Could have been a comet, but I think once you see my evidence, you'll see that, yes, there could have been a comet too, but it wasn't. It, the comet is not really what did it. I just don't think it did. I have evidence showing otherwise. So you guys have a great day and we'll see you later.